Hey, what's up guys? Mule Skull here. Welcome to uh, Space Engineers uh, Episode 1, Crash Red Ship. That's what I'm going to do. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to create our uh, our world today and play some Space Engineers. So, let's pick Crash Red Ship scenario. Um, basically, you start with a ship that crashed into an asteroid and it gives you... Um, you basically need to... Um, fix the ship and yeah so we're gonna call it uh we're gonna call it crash red ship lp just so i know i'm gonna pick survival um online mode this might change i don't know um we're gonna keep it offline for now just a solo lp uh the environment hostility oh I think I'm going to do normal. I've never picked one of these. Um, I usually always pick safe, but let's pick normal. Now, uh, mods. What kind of mods do I have? Let's see. Let's, uh, let's add some of these. Let's see. We'll go... Hmm. This one. This one. Oh, can't do that. We'll move them over one at a time. That one, that one, uh, that one. Different skins. I don't think I want to do armor thrusters. We'll do the bunk bed. We we'll use uh, pretty much all. We'll do that one, that one. I can't remember what this one is. Um, these walls will help you to visually expand your corridors and make them feel less cramped. Good for space. We'll do that one. And we'll play with the Milky Way Skybox. How about that? Um, this one's a... I think it's a character skin mod. And this one... Um, <laughs> is... It makes your thrusters look better. But we'll stick with these. Okay. Do that. And then um, advanced. Let's see... Uh, we'll go survival. Inventory size. This is an important one. Um, for the purposes of the Let's Play, I don't want to mine every single episode. So I think we'll just bring it up to three times. That'll help a bunch. Um, leave those realistic. The grinding speed realistic. Okay, that's good. Um, world size. We'll go unlimited. And asteroid amount. I like uh, using extreme. This I like lots and lots of uh, lots of material. So we'll do that. Um, okay. Weapon weapons enabled, of course. We will click uh, trash auto removal. Um, cargo ships is a must. And yeah, that should be it. Okay, yeah, that's good. So, let's hit OK and build our world. Okay. So, it's going to download mods and uh yeah, I will Oh, I guess it's done. Perfect. So, yeah, we'll get into this. Uh we'll take a tour of the ship and I'll show you what is up with this one. As soon as it loads, it takes a little bit. So in the meantime, I'm going to drink some coffee. <clears throat> you know me and drinking coffee during loading screens. Of course. Got to do that. Yeah. So I figured uh, we'd start with something new today. Because uh, all I ever do is play Terraria and Minecraft, it seems like. So <laughs> why don't we play something a little different? And yeah, maybe you'll like the game, and you can get it on Steam for nineteen ninety nine. It's it's actually uh, I personally think that uh, the price could be more, and it would still be worth it. I would see forty dollars being a good price for this game. So nineteen ninety nine is actually really good, and it's updated every week. Like this week, we have uh, sensor, the sensor blocks. Um, Warhead controls, so you can make remote explosives. Um, what else is there? There's a lot of, a lot of little changes and stuff like that every week. 
And yeah, it's actually just a really cool game, and they're developing it uh, exactly how I would want it developed. Where a lot of other games don't have uh, the support this one has. But that's okay, you know. We won't name names, and yeah. Let's get into this. As soon as it loads. One day. Maybe. Maybe? Today? Alright, here we are. So, there's our crashed red ship. Um, let's come down here and take a look and see what kind of damage we're looking at. Uh, yeah, that's a bad crash. Whoever was piloting this thing being, well, I'm the only person in the world, but yeah, not a good wreck. Let's turn on our lights. Let's come in here. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna take a look around. So, what do we got here? This is a refinery, I believe. Um... Okay, here's our main control room. Right in here. Okay, there's the cockpit. Um, let's take a look at the damage from the cockpit. So, we have... Oh, let's see. Power usage is out of control. Um, no fuel time. Okay, well, this isn't good for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so let's get some tools in our hand. Um, we'll get our welder. Come on, drag down there. Our grinder. And our hand drill. I always put them in that order. Just because. Um, oh, we didn't actually see the damage on this thing. I don't know if we have fuel or what, so... We better be very cautious about how we use our fuel. Okay, let's see. Um, turns out the power's off, so let's hit the Y button to turn things on. Um, let's hold the Alt button. Go around. Looks like we have a back thruster, so I could back it up a little bit. Looks like I got side to side. Down. Up. Okay, so we can actually move this thing. Um, let's back this thing up a little bit very slowly very carefully we don't want to turn or anything Ooh, and there's a lot of iron in that asteroid so looks like things are good so far hopefully this thing stops good it has um, let's back it up a little bit more Okay, that's probably good. Okay, so let's uh, hop out of this thing. Oh, I forgot to check my fuel time. Looks like we got two days of fuel, as is. Oh, you know what? I also want to uh, check our systems. So we have an incomplete assembler, uh, broken light somewhere, interior light, not a big deal. And it looks like everything's good, aside from that last solar panel. So our systems are pretty much intact. Um, the second assembler isn't really necessary, but we will definitely be using it. Um, I'm not sure if our conveyors are working correctly yet. Let's go take a look around. Uh, oh, it appears I have gravity too, so I can turn off my jetpack. Um, let's see... Go out this way. This reactor. How are you? Let's pull out the welder. Looks like it's complete and it's okay. Nothing hurt on it. Um, I don't think it has a conveyor system to it though, does it? Oh, it does from below. And uh, those red lights right there. That means it's uh, not. There's a break in the 
conveyor somewhere. So it won't get uranium if we put it into any kind of a main system. Sounds like we're refining something. That's what that sound was. Uh, this one... Okay, that's good. And the conveyor system's good. You can see the green light right there. Um, how about we turn on the jetpack and jump out here real quick. Okay, so we're coming out of uh, one of the engine bays on the sides. Looks like we don't have, uh, got some damage right here. Maybe we can repair it without uh, having to get material for it. So, there we go. Get this part too. Sometimes uh, they just get dinged up and they don't ha they don't actually lose material. They just kind of deform a little bit. But we can kind of run along this just to fix it up. Um, it's a free fix, so we don't need to go and get uh, iron plates or anything. Whoa! We'll have to turn that uh, auto save down a little bit. I don't want it doing that every five minutes. Let's do that right now, actually. So we'll go options. We will go game. Um, no. Okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, no. Options. Game. Press save games. Okay. Okay. Video? Uh, no. Okay, whatever. It'll auto save this episode. I'll figure that out later. It's probably on the main options menu on the uh, on the title screen. Ooh. There's an antenna over here from something. Who knows? Could be a bad guy. Could be... I don't know. Okay. Uh, a little bit of a repair here. The first thing I like to do in these is just go over um, what we have to kind of square everything up. And kind of see everything just, you know, getting right back where it's supposed to be. Squaring back up again. Yeah, this thing took a hit. But the cool thing about this scenario is we can uh, pick how we want it to look. From, uh, from the damage forward. And that's always fun. And I like this scenario a lot because uh, it, it doesn't just throw you into the world and let you have at it. It gives you something to do. And that's always good. Let's see. So yeah, um, these blocks aren't really dinged up that bad. They're just kind of... These got kind of crunched a little bit. And of course, uh, we can fix it with a welder, right? Makes sense. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly... Um, let's see... We can kind of go along this and fix it a little bit later. Let's find out where our systems are. So, this right here, this is the refinery. Um, we'll access this panel here. And holy sound. One second. I gotta, I gotta adjust this. There we go. Okay. Okay, back into this control panel. So we've got uh, nickel ore, silicone ore, and uh, cobalt being made right now. Looks like we got a little iron, some nickel ingots, uh, some glass, some computers, 15 uranium, 15 kilograms of uranium. Um, this reactor's got a little bit. This one's got 15. The assembler has nothing going on. Assembler 2 is offline. And some basic starting materials. Some gold ingots, some platinum. That's good. Alright, so there's our refinery. And 
We'll check to see if it's... It looks like it's hooked up to the system, so that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, up here, past all this wreckage, should be our assembler and assembler 2. Now, let's see here. Um, the conveyor's good. Assembler 1 is 100%. Assembler 2 is not 100%. Needs a lot of material to get that one going. Um, the conveyor tubes, I'm not really sure if those are working or not. Let's go down a floor if we can. Uh, it doesn't appear we can. Let's see, we need some sort of an access to that. Um, hmm. Maybe around the back we can find a way. Right over here. What is this? This is just a light armor block. I say we... Um, yeah, grind through this one. Hopefully nothing blows up or falls apart. Um, conveyor looks good. And I'm just going to kind of build a little access here, just so we can see what's going on. Shouldn't hurt the ship much anymore. Not hurt more than it already is. Okay, so, as I thought, this computer, or this conveyor is offline. Um, reason being is this assembl assemb assembler is not complete. <laughs> Um, I think we can get that assembler running, but I want to kind of hold off and uh, build up my materials a little bit beforehand. And this one's good, because that assembler is good. 100%? Yep. And yep. Okay. So that's all good. We'll just leave this open um, for now. We'll figure that out later. We want to get this assembler going. Um, looks like I need some construction components and whatnot. I think I can pull them out of this assembler, actually. If the cargo container is, uh... is good. So, no, not those. We want... 11 of these. So, we'll go like that. Type in 11. And we'll weld on this a little bit. Now I need 12 small tubes, 8 motors. Okay, 12 small tubes and 8 motors. Twelve, and we don't have any motors, so that's okay, we'll just weld these on anyway. Um, 4 displays and 80 computers. We have 76, so we'll just take the computers. And if you click enough, it will happen. So we got 76 computers on there. Um, anything else? You can use four displays. Cancel. Displays. Drag. There we go. And we need four of those. Okay, so what we need is eight motors and four computers to get that one going. I said we weren't going to do this one, but what did I say? Eight motors, four computers. Okay. So we'll go here. We will go production. Um, we'll pick eight motors. And what did I say? Four computers? Computer, where are you? There it is. Okay, so. We're missing cobalt ingots for this one. So we'll just switch those two around. Because maybe we have... Okay, and we don't have silicone wafers yet. Um, if everything's hooked up right, I should be able to go down to the refinery. And we will just switch the silicone with nickel. Like that. And there we go. Now it's refining the uh, silicone. And that's how we got our computers. Now for this one we need cobalt, so we'll do the same thing. Go to inventory, switch the cobalt to first priority, go to production, 
and you'll see the cobalt start building up and we need 40 to get 8 motors so let's go down to uh, actually let's go to assembler 1 which is this one grab our 4 computers finish those up and then all we need is 8 motors um okay that's going to take a bit so in the meantime we're going to go down here I think this is the light that is broken. Hmm. Why isn't that light turning on? Let's turn off our jetpack and let's charge our suit. Now, to charge your suit, um, this is important. You have to sit in a cockpit or uh, anything that has power. So, uh, passenger seats work cockpits work, um, medical bays work, if you didn't know. Oh, speaking of which, do we have a medical bay? Or a medical room? Because that's a very important one. Doesn't appear we do. So, medical room would be our next priority. Um, because if we die, that's where we're going to respawn. And I don't want to use a respawn ship, because that's just not how I do it. Um... Okay, so, a medical room. Oh, how are we going to do this? Well, I would say let's put it up here. But, I don't think I want to do that. Um, ah, there's our cargo container. Is this the large one? Yes, large cargo container. I'm not sure if it's hooked up as it should be, or maybe it is, I don't know. Um, this conveyor is good. I think this goes to the connector, which is out here. Yes, it does, and there's also a small cargo container here, which has uh, some bulletproof glass in it. That's cool. Connector's good. This is good as far as uh, not being damaged. We do have some damaged conveyor over here, though. Um, if you remember that uh, that reactor wasn't hooked up to everything, so we'll come on the bottom side of the ship and see if we can find where it's broken. I think it's over here. Um, no, is that damaged? No. Okay, it's all good there. Ah, there it is, right there. That's where it's broken. So we've got. Okay, so it's hooked up to there, and then to this conveyor, and then this one is good, this one is not. Okay, so we can uh, build these. Let's see. I can actually place a conveyor tube. What color is that? That's a black conveyor tube. So we will go to the conveyor tubes. Okay, so we'll drag that down here, put it there, and then um, I want to press P to pick the color of paint, which is um, that color? No. You want a black color, so there it is. And then we'll just put that there. Um, the reason I could place that there is because I have steel plates in my inventory. So if you look on the right, it says one steel plate out of ten. Um, that's because I it takes one to build it, and then you have to build onto the part itself. So, there's that. Um, we can get that hooked up sometime. And the other side should be symmetrical in this one. Yes, it is. And it's all hooked up. That's kind of what we're going to go for. Okay. So that's good. Um, other than that, I think the ship is in decent shape. I haven't played this uh, scenario in quite a while. Um, I started playing it again and then I just stopped because I said, well, I might as well play this for you guys. Give you guys something to watch. Because you know I love you. You know I love you guys, right? Okay. Oh yeah, just some small repairs here. Now I've got steel plates in my inventory just in case any of these do need a steel plate or two. 
And yeah, we will have to go mining uh, probably next episode. But we can run around here and get some little repairs done. Um, priority one, though, isn't fixing the ship. It's getting a medical room. Um, I think I'm going to play this hardcore. But if I die, oh well. <laughs> we'll keep, we'll continue and finish the ship, so. Alrighty. Yep, these are easy little fixes here. So we might as well just square it up and get it uh, as repaired as possible. There we are. Okay. Meteor storm inbound. Oh no, really? Oh no, really? I don't even know what that means. Like I said, I haven't played, uh... I haven't played on with meteor storms. Holy crap, it sounds like so scary. Get in that cockpit. Um, I need to look around. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, yeah. Oh, there goes the back. That might have hit the reactor, that's bad. Let's turn. Um, oh, this thing is slow. And of course it's got to save right now, or freeze, or whatever it's doing. There we go. Okay, we need to move. Wow, that was uh, interesting. So we got a little more damage. Um, I think I'm going to move over towards this cluster of asteroids over here. Now, let's hit, uh, straighten my view out some, because this thing is slow and it doesn't turn very fast right now. Now, I know there's no up and down in space, but if I can get covered by an asteroid, it might help me a little bit. Let's roll if we can, just a little bit. Um, let's park. You know what, I say we park right between those two asteroids if we can. Okay, um, carefully, I want to turn my view because depth perception is very, very interesting in this game, especially in a larger ship. You think you're farther away when you're really not. So, ever so carefully. Um, you always want to check, especially with, like I said, a big ship. We're going to roll just a hair more, and I think I'm going to, uh, it one above me and one below me right here okay now now the cool thing about this game is there is no up and down so I can actually tilt forward somewhat move in um a little bit more. I want to be kind of between these asteroids because I think it'll help. I don't know how meteors work exactly, but uh, yeah, that's just part of the excitement, right? Okay, let's hop out. Throw on my jetpack. Uh, let's go see how much damage we got. I heard a boom earlier, and I think it hit out here. Yes, it did. Look at that one. Not horrible, but um, it hurt nonetheless. <laughs> the one I'm scared of is the one at the back of the ship. Oh, it looks like we lost a little armor. Not a big deal. The one that hit near the reactor wasn't good, because that was just about where I was sitting, I think. 
So we lost a block or two, or three or four, or whatever that is. But yeah. It's really cool that it gives you the warning, though. But that's part of the excitement um, of doing that. I didn't really... I didn't know what to expect, so that was fun. Uh, let's repair this up as much as we can, at least. We can survey our damage. Oh, look at that. There's a reactor right there. You know how close that was? It did hit uh, a thruster, though, right here. But it's not hurt. I think the armor took a lot of the blow, so that's good. Okay, so we'll repair this up a little bit. Um, we will have to repair the some of the damage that it's done. But I think being between these few asteroids will help a lot. I'm covered on three sides, I think. Alrighty. Straighten out these blocks somewhat. Okay, that looks, uh... I'm still here in asteroids, so this is really scary. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure where they fly from either. I'm not sure if it's a uh, single directional or omnidirectional or what. I would expect they'd all come from the same direction, but I'm not sure if the direction is random. Okay, that looks good enough for now. Um, let's see, what do I have on me? How is my... Okay, so I've got a few steel plates. I say we uh, get some light armor and we fix it up a little bit. Looks like it's a whitish grayish color of some sort. Okay, so hit the G button. We're gonna go to uh, light armor. Oh, of course you gotta save right now. That makes sense. That one. And we will go... Oh, hold on. That's black. Go P. Pick our color. That color, I think it is? I don't know. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Let's do two of them. Uh, this is going to take 25 steel plates a piece. So we will just do as much as we can. Um, it's not going to... This one's not going to be fully repaired, but... Okay, well, that'll just have to do for now. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any meteors anymore. But look at that skybox, guys. What do you think of that? That's pretty dang awesome. If you ask me. Uh, yeah, the mods are really sweet in this game. Okay, so. At this point, I'm going to come right here. We're going to go back in here, and we're going to sit at our cockpit. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye!